it's human nature to, to go after the easy things first in, in, in anything that we do. But in design, you know, contrary to, to human nature, we've got to go after the hard things first. My dad's father uh, began farming, uh, I think, as soon as he got here. And my mother's father and mother the same. Being raised in that environment instills in you that there's nobody going to hand this to you. That you're going to work hard for this and still doesn't guarantee that, that it's going to work. But it was always a love. I just love the physical labor. Uh, I just love being out there. I love being part of the group, team. My dad took me down to uh, part of our, our farm and in those days we had uh, what we call puncture vines, some people call goat heads. Uh, it's the stickers that you, you get in your bicycle tires that flatten the tire. And there was one strip that was probably about 20 feet wide or 30 feet wide, I, I don't remember. But it was full of these puncture vines. So he took myself and our foreman down, Loop, and had us cut all of these puncture vines. Well, I told you it was 20, 30 feet wide. It was a half a mile long, 12, 13 years old. And I looked up at that. I looked down at those puncture vines. I looked up and I go, my God, that goes forever. And I just put my head back down and I said, I am, I'm gonna keep swinging this shovel. And as long as I take out a puncture vine, every time I swing this shovel, sooner or later, I'm gonna be done. But see that experience, taught me a lot because I, I really live my life taking it one puncture vine at a time. Well, my dad, my dad was, was a hot rodder. He, he enjoyed building engines and when he was a kid and uh, actually dropped out of high school so he could go down to Los Angeles and learn more about the mechanics of machinery. And so we all kind of, we'd go to the drag strip and, and uh, have a little race and run his, uh, 61 Ford Starliner against my Falcon and things like this. So it was just, it was just something we could enjoy and share together. Um, but it also fostered my love of mechanics and machinery and always trying to push the edge. Uh, I, you know, as a hobby, I build high performance engines and as a business, I build high performance human engines. From a mechanical engineering perspective, the musculoskeletal system is just levers and cables. And, and so all we did was build the resistance system to accommodate that. And so as, you know, as an engineer, and certainly as an engineer that seems to never be satisfied, um, I think all you have to do is really be exposed to things. Uh, and start to understand where the status quo is in that particular industry. But then set back, stand back and say, okay, what is it that we really want to accomplish? Because people have a certain paradigm, a certain prejudice of doing something a certain way. And so when they look at development, they have a tendency of taking that paradigm and, and, and holding on to that part of it and trying to make it better. And, and what you end up with is always, always being limited in your ability to, to progress because you're holding on to the past. I don't let the status quo influence me. Any part of the status quo. What I've done from the time I was 13 years old uh, when I started building uh, electronic kits, Heath kits, um, and all the way to now, it's never changed. <laughs>